we're going to look at variance analysis using standards. And what is favorable versus unfavorable when it comes to those variances. So this will look at a basic two-way variance analysis. And when we say two-way, that means the total variance, there are two main components to that. So what is standard? Well, you, I want you to think budget. So we're looking at a fixed budget and then a variable budget. You want to compare budgeted to actual to see how well you did. Budgeted to actual revenue, budgeted to actual expenses. And for standard cost objectives, you want to attain a realistic budgeted cost for use in planning and decision making. Variance analysis will explain why revenue or expenses are over or under budget. The variance analysis of standard to actual this year helps in your budget process next year. So evaluating those variances from standard, if the actual revenue is higher than the standard, that means you made more than you thought you would, that's favorable. If actual revenue is lower than standard, that would be unfavorable. For expenses, it's just the opposite. If the actual costs are higher than the standard, that would be unfavorable. You spent more than you expected. And if the costs are lower, that is favorable. So there can be product cost variances with direct material, direct labor, variable manufacturing overhead rate, and the fixed manufacturing overhead also. You can have a one-way, a two-way, a three-way, or four-way. So what this means is when you talk about the different components, you're looking at the total variances and what made, makes up that variances. Are there, is there just one component? Are there two components, three, four, or more? So evaluating the variances from the standards, direct materials, will have a price variance and an efficiency variance. That is a two-way. You look at per unit cost for the price variance and how many you actually use in production. That's your efficiency. With direct labor, you could have a rate variance and an efficiency variance. Another type of two-way. Actual pay rates would be your rate and number of employees could be your efficiency. Hours worked could also be efficiency. So remember, the standard is the budget, and you're going to compare budget to actual. Looking at standard versus actual, what is the difference? The difference, that's your variance. And then you perform your analysis of the variance. That's the why. Why did the variance happen? So a variance analysis is a way to explain the dollar differences. For price variances, have your supplier's costs gone up or down? For quantity usage variance, have more or less materials been required? Because quantity, that's your efficiency. That's how you measure this. And your analysis is going to be used to explain the variances. Because if it's explainable, you can make adjustments. You can fix the problem. So direct materials price variance, that is actual quantities purchased times actual minus the standard price. This is your direct materials efficiency variance. This is how you calculate it. So units quantity purchased 300, units quality used 220. So we're going to look at an example using these amounts. So the net direct materials variance was a favorable 400. So now you want to look at why. Well, you have a total favorable, but how much you used compared to the standard quantity used, what you expected to use, it's actually unfavorable. The actual cost was only 8 and the standard cost is 10, so you have a favorable. So this is a two-way. Two different things went into the total. If you can explain it, you can look for and find any problems that may be. 
So let's look at these variances now. You have a, a favorable price variance, but an unfavorable usage variance or efficiency variance of 200. And then the net total is 400 favorable. So now direct labor two-way variance. This could happen if your average employees are paid higher than the budgeted rate. The efficiency or the volume variance, you, maybe your employees worked more hours than they budgeted. Were there more FTEs higher than budgeted? So the analysis you're going to do, that's what variance analysis is. You analyze the variances. Why are you off of budget? It could be favorable, could be unfavorable. The combination could end up of a favorable, could be offset, and end up being actually a total unfavorable. Those are the things you want to look for. And here are the calculations. And using this example, the net direct labor variance is 490. And that's usually what you're going to see. You're going to see the total. Then you back into the analysis component. So why did you have a 490 unfavorable variance? Where did it come from? Well, first looking at actual hours worked versus standard hours, that's actually favorable. While the rate paid versus the standard rate was unfavorable. So you actually had a 1,480 unfavorable rate variance, but you had a 990 favorable efficiency variance, which partially offset the total rate variance for a net of 490 unfavorable. As long as you can explain it, you can find any problem areas and work to resolve them. That's what variance analysis is for. These are typical two-way direct materials and direct labor variances and how you calculate the difference between a price or a rate variance and the efficiency variance. So the key to remember, if revenue, it's a positive variance is good, a negative is bad. An expense, a negative variance is good, a positive is bad. Because you want your revenue higher and your expenses lower.